Now that I am yours, now I know that I am yours You were taking me to places I have never seen before Now I'm never looking back, cause I know that I am sure You will always be enough, so I'm never going under
from the greenhouse where Betty has finally figured out that she was right. Putting a fan on a solar panel that as the day goes by increases in energy makes the fan run faster <sighs> destroys the electronics in the fan. That's the problem. I am working on some projects here and I love the greenhouse. I've moved away from working in the greenhouse when I decided to sell the property. I, I figure I can let somebody know in advance because I've watched. I know what you can and cannot do in here based on the fan right now. And the way to fix the fan is to install a battery, a charge controller, and then you could wire the fan. I think you might could wire it right out of it. I'm not sure. Um, and that's where I always dead end. I'm not sure what the link is um, between the fan and the battery. All I know is that that fan needs to have a continuous source of power, not the rising and the setting of the sun. And the fan is not broke. I can come in when the sun gets full on the panel, turn it on, it runs full bore. As soon as the sun shifts enough to change that power level, it just can't do it anymore. And even I kept thinking, well, maybe I was wrong about the the power coming into it. Turns out I was correct. I want to explain what I've been doing in the duck pen and how that I was building an ecosystem and you have the ducks in the pen when I would put their water out, which is mostly the mucky. Okay, they they do they mess up their water really bad and there are days where they just sit in it. So you can imagine. Well, if that doesn't drain, then all of that but it's basically the 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 ground was getting oversaturated because it wasn't draining properly. Well, you know what, in the spring I had done some work in there and it had gotten better and then it got worse and then the ducks were in that water rather than the pool. Ain't nobody gonna wanna eat an egg after you've been sitting in poopy water all day. So, my fix has worked and I am tweaking it a little bit because it. I need to dig the ditch a little deeper so that it will, to get the, the drain out away from the duck pen. And now it goes out of the duck pen every time and I can spray the hose in there. And what I've been doing, and if you, you've seen me just spraying the dirt around it, I'm kind of trying to wash that through because it turns out that the desert sand is kind of like a filtration. So if you can get it to a place and let it filter, and I just realized, oh, it's getting bright out there because the sun's coming up over the hill. And I'm actually heading to the tiny to do some sewing today and before it gets too hot. I am running my sewing machine off of the solar system that's over my water tanks. That rocks. And if I wanted to sew in here, Bob run the wire under here. This is fully got electric in here. It's an amazing place. And, um, you know, I spend a lot of time in here in the winter and in the spring. And I can grow food in here. I know how now. And did I tell you I saved those lettuce seeds? I'm seriously considering planting some now in my in my window in the shed. Because they could they could survive and by the time the weather cooled. Sorry about that. I had an alarm go off on my phone. What was I saying? Hot.
possibly planting some lettuce now that I could grow in here if it gets cool enough. I don't know what I'm going to do about the, the fan. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just tell the new owners, here's how you fix it. Because we're at the end of the season. In another month, you won't need that fan in here. Uh, in another month, it'll be time to really start working in here because it'll start getting cold and I won't want to be outside. What I'm going to try to do, ah, I just remembered. I was talking about the duck pen at one point. Let's go back to that because it's not just a duck pen. It is a permaculture ecosystem. The water going out is watering the trees. My Palo Verde is doing beautifully because it's getting more water and it is growing so much that I'm going to have to readjust the wire cage around it because one of the limbs is going through it. I've got to do something about that. Um, so that'll happen. The dirt out there, it's dirt and straw and duck droppings <laughs> and rabbit poo is all over. And a lot of it is getting dug up and moved around, which means that if it is watered, then it will get, it can grow. But the point of growing grass or uh, lettuces, green stuff, weeds from Arizona, you can get like an Arizona seed mix. So I grow all of the green stuff out there and it does two things. The rabbits <laughs> would eat all of it before it would ever have a chance to grow. And the ducks, I'm growing, I want to grow this for the ducks. So when I open that gate, I'm hearing a helicopter, but Mona's barking either at a rabbit and I couldn't tell, is it a helicopter or somebody coming down the road? Y'all, you know, it's seven o'clock in the morning. It's a rabbit. It is a rabbit and she's waking up the whole neighborhood over a rabbit. She's so proud of herself. <laughs> Cause that's the goal, get me to come out here so I can chase the rabbit away. But sometimes it's a rattlesnake. Okay, I gotta get over to the tiny and start sewing. I got sun on my panels and I got what I need. And I have explained to you Technically, the fan is fixed. <sighs> Did I finish telling you about the duck fence? Uh, well, it's a rabbit fence. To keep, to show the ducks where they can go and get the grass and the seed and the whatever is growing out there that they can eat. And bugs. I'm growing bugs. <sighs> so they have that. And it's like a little micro environment. And then it'll, I've got to do a rabbit fence. Whew. Stay tuned. You probably won't see the sewing, but you will see if you see Betty. <laughs> you just might see Betty build a rabbit fence. I love y'all. <laughs>